Introduction to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Audit The cloud has revolutionized how businesses operate and exponentially increased the scale of operations. Is there a simple solution for managing cloud resources at scale? What about security with data access and user privileges in both the physical and virtual layers? Audit is one of the many infrastructure platform features and services that enable governance and access. Hi, can you tell me what the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Audit Service entails? Visibility is an important aspect of any cloud implementation. The Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Audit Service automatically records calls as log events to all supported API endpoints. This helps you to easily see and understand what is happening in your tenancy. The access to audit events is highly secure. Internally, the audit service performs data integrity checks to make sure that the events are delivered as recorded by the service infrastructure. By default, the audit service is turned on for every tenant. You cannot turn it off. Every tenant administrator has access to read audit log events in every compartment in the tenancy. To allow other groups of users to view and manage audit logs, you must configure a policy using Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Identity and Access Management Service, or IAM. You can access the audit service using the console, REST API, or SDKs. The service is enabled by default at no additional charge. Log events recorded by the audit service include ID of the caller, target resource, time of the recorded event, request and response parameters, API calls made by the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console, command line interface or CLI, software development kits or SDK, custom clients, other Oracle Cloud Infrastructure services. What problem does the service help resolve? Cloud operations teams can view the user activity triggers, review usage and changes in their tenancy, and troubleshoot problems by viewing the activities. It is also useful for security audits and compliance monitoring. How long does it take for an event to get logged? And how often is activity logged? It typically requires 15 minutes from the occurrence of the event to delivery of the log event to the audit service log file. The audit service typically delivers events every five minutes. That would be a huge volume of data. What are the viewing options? Log events are in JSON or JavaScript object notation format. You can view these log events in the audit section of the console, or you can use the Java SDK to programmatically download events matching a specified time range. Log events can be analyzed using standard log analysis tools. However, you cannot modify log events. Here is a sample event log. These events are in standard JSON format, so you can easily use them with popular audit and security analysis tools. Let me share some tips that you will find helpful when using the audit service and inspecting the events. For the key questions that audit service answers, you will need to inspect each audit event for specific fields. What was the activity? For this, you need to examine the fields of request action, request parameters, request resource. As you can see, the action performed was to get or view details about the compute instance. Who did it? From where? To identify the user or group that performed the action, look at Principal ID, Request Agent, Compartment ID. This gives you the identity of the agent associated with the action. When did it happen? Look at event time. What was the outcome? Check response status. When was the outcome? You can see that under response time. You can use the text search in the console to filter to the most interesting events. For example, to list all events that experienced failure, you can search for events with failure status codes, like 500 or 404.
How long will this data remain available? All audit events are archived for 90 days after they are recorded. It can be extended up to 365 days by using the SDK, REST API, or by calling customer support. Audit events cannot be archived for more than 365 days. Thanks for sharing all this information. Sure. Hope you can now easily view and understand the activity in your tenancy. To learn more, please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal. You can sign up for a free trial and get started right away.